Michelle Gibbs from MG Art Class. Today I thought it would be quite interesting to have a look at some of the autumn colours. Um, autumn is one of my favourite seasons and the richness of oranges and siennas and greens that you can get out there are just so beautiful that I thought today I would collect some leaves, which is what I've done here. Um, I did check that no one was looking and they weren't so that's fine. Um, so I thought it would be quite a good idea is, is if we can see how we can mix up some of these beautiful reds and oranges um, with quite a limited palette and just kind of see how we can really explore the autumnal colours and see what we get with. So let's get going. Okay so using these leaves um, I'm just going to use these as a little bit of a, a guide for my colour mixing. And I've got a very basic palette here, so I've got a burnt sienna, a burnt umber, I've got a, a permanent alizarin crimson, I've got a cadmium yellow light, I've got an ultramarine blue, a cadmium uh, yellow light, a yellow ochre and a titanium white. So let's just have a look and see what mixes that we can create. So I'm going to start off with the crimson. And I'm going to add a little bit of the blue, ultramarine blue. And I'm just going to tone that down a little bit, so I'm going to add a little bit of the umber. So like that, it, because it's so dark, it is actually very difficult to see. So what I'm going to do is just add a drop of water and just bring that out a little bit. So you can see that we're starting to create these beautiful golden um, sort of red purples here. And then obviously I can add a little bit more blue if I want to make it a little darker for the darker areas. So that's a really nice, that's a really beautiful sort of colour that you can get there. Now if I add the titanium white, this is why it's quite good to use glazes because you get this really rich red but if I thin it down with water I can start to see the colour but if I see what happens when we add a bit of white you can see it takes on a very different colour because the white cools it down. So although it's lightening it, it's actually changing the colour quite a bit. So to kind of get these, these colours here and, and to show them, it's best to use them in glazes. So if I wash out my brush. So let's have a look at some of these these yellows and it's very much uh, the good thing to do when you're uh, looking at a colour so if we've got this here is to think okay where on my palette is this what which colour is this most like and I'm gonna go straight for the yellow ochre because I think it looks most like the yellow ochre now there's a few variations in here so let's just see what we can do. So for starters we've got some lighter areas so I could probably add a tiny little bit of the cadmium yellow light just to brighten it a little bit. And again if we add a little bit of the white So we've got a bit of that in there. I can see some, um, a little bit of uh, green, blue green places. So I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny amount of the the ultramarine blue. It's very much like a blue green. So we've got this variation here as well, and. And then we've got some more 
sort of brown red parts there so I'm going to go for the burnt sienna so those warmer tones in the leaf and then it's just a case of just tweaking it a little bit um, to get the variation but you can you can see that you've got some really interesting colours in there um, and just kind of playing around with the mixes we can get those so if we have a look at if we have a look at this one here so again I'm going to think where where does this colour fall within my palette so I'm thinking it's going to be around these two reds here so I'm going to start with the the Elysium Crimson I'm going to pull a little bit off and add some of the cadmium yellow light. Now that's quite bright, I probably don't really want it that bright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bit of the burnt umber just to knock it back a little bit. Probably not that much. So you can start to see, you can start to see that red there. And I'm probably going to take a little bit of that and I could even add a little bit of blue. Again, just to knock it back and get a, a, a variation in there. So when you're, when you're painting something like this, there are so many colours in it. That you want to make sure that you get that variety in there, otherwise it's going to end up looking very flat. Um, so it's good to have a variation of these different mixes. We've um, got some lighter areas in there, so again I could take a little bit of this, add a bit of the yellow ochre for those lighter areas. Again, I might even take a little bit of this and just add a little bit of blue. So there I managed to kind of make these these dark edges that where it's kind of started to die. So I've got that there. So you've got a nice variation um, in that one as well. So, so we've got this one, this one, and then obviously we've got this one over here. And again, you can play around a little bit more with these with these mixes. Um, so you could probably put a little bit of this in there. You could even darken it up a little bit so you could add a little bit more blue, a bit of brown. So those are sort of really those kind of darker areas. Again, just thinning that down a little bit. And then say something like the, the more brighter yellow. Again, we kind of look at our palette and think, where, where do we need to start? We can see that this is, the, that the cadmium yellow light is probably closest to start with we put that on we think okay that's too bright so we need to knock that down a little bit we could probably add a little bit of the yellow ochre or we could probably add a tiny little bit of the um the burnt sienna just to warm that up a little bit So you think it's probably a little bit orange, so we add some yellow ochre in there. Probably a bit more of the um, cadmium yellow light. And then we can move some of that away, add a little bit of blue bring out some of those greens in there so you can you can this is just 
just really an idea for you to, you know, to how to think about colour mixing using a very basic palette and, and how to start thinking about matching your colours. So look at it, what does it look most like on my palette, does it need tweaking and obviously making sure that there's enough variation in there. So hopefully you, you had fun um, and kind of really get to see how you might go about mixing up some of these colours and hopefully you'll push your colour mixing a little bit further because it's a really great thing to do um, and just keep practising with it really. So my name is Michelle from MGR Plus. For more tips and techniques please subscribe to my YouTube channel or pop over to my website.